by something cr crack done. Good is Easter. Not going to go through the tape today. Once we're done, no surprises. We're done. It's going to be nice weather for most of us. If it's not even if it's blue sky, get a be little ambassadors. All right. Well, I was just just one more thinking of that. There was um, we did it. There was a class that about ten days ago, and there was about about six people in it. That's all. And we still, we've got on to for somehow, I think it was about the side effects of the COVID and things. And Andrea brought up a good point. And now you, you're all here. Um, she mentioned the yellow card system that the MHRA do. Um, they are open, they, uh, they print everything. They just, they don't hide anything away. You can get it on an app. Just type in yellow card and it'll come up MHRA. And it's, it was, it's to report side effects that you may suffer adverse side effects of any any medicine, not just anything else. All right. So, do you want to say something, Andrew, on that one, Andrew, quickly? Yeah, I'll, I'll send everybody a link. I'll send the app. We the, we analyze everything to check the safety of products, okay, and make decisions about whether it should stay on the market, whether those groups shouldn't use it, etc. So, it's very important that we get these reports because if we don't get them, we don't know what the side effects are, and we don't get the full picture. And we do print, we do publish everything as well. So I'll send you the link for um, being able to apply for it. It's, um, it. It can be a little bit fiddly, but bear with it. Just do it because it's really important that we hear about these things. And as Tug says, it's for any medicine, okay? There you go, guys. All right, all in one. And spread that around to other people because I think there's on the news, a lot of people out there and they think they're having side effects and where we're going to go to and to say, if you have to go to your GP, obviously, if you go to, you think it's that adverse and you need to. That, 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 that's that question. But that's how you can report stuff. That's how you can stay in contact. That's how you can get your feedback about what medical people are giving you to put inside your body. You're going to mute you all down. That's done, that's done, that's done. You're all muted. We've got, right, quickly, Scott, Tracy, Viv, Sally, Nicola, Maria, Diane, Biebs, Cynthia, Bill, Anne, Annabelle. Oh, look, Johnette's coming now. They've all You're all here. It's a big class, all right? Let's get going, get James off the TV. And let's face it, yesterday you had a choice on TV between myself and the sound of music. I think I won, all right? Okay, so this morning, it's myself and James. I'm gonna chill it all down, guys. I think we're just gonna do some classic straightforward. Let's just ease it all down. And first off, that's got to be, hasn't it? Let's get a breath in. Here we go, take the hands up and out. Pause and hold there. We'll do a few more pause and holds, I think. And that just brings the, the mental focus in as well. Turn the hands up slowly. Nice breath in. Exhale down to the heart. And in case any of you are wondering, that conversation we just had on the yellow card, it's on the record button. So anybody misses the session this morning, they get a chance to see it later. Thumbs touching the chest. Feel the heartbeat. Don't nobody start thumping their chest thinking they can't feel it. Squish the hands out and hold there. Good. What I want you to do from here is, I want you to imagine them form pillars under the hands and push them down about a foot and bring it back, a foot and back. And slowly speed it up, but keep it smooth. We're just firing up the rotator cuff muscle group. Just keep pushing and bringing it back, push them back, push them back, three, two, and a one. Hold, now rotate the hands under and increase. I bet some of you guys who did the isometrics last night are thinking we were doing a bit of that with the bands. Exhale down. We took it next level yesterday, guys, and a few exercises. Worth having a quick look at that one. Arc it down, elbows low. Last time, now let's reach for the walls. Push the hands out. We can go 15s this morning. Push it out. Push it out. Reach for the wall. Rotate the hands up. Pour some of that cold water into the palms of the hands. Don't spill it. Rotate the thumbs to the rear. Long arms, breathe in. Reach for the ceiling. Exhale, keep the hands there. Keep them there. Good. Next exhalation, try and touch the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale and push upwards. Push up. We want to feel that stretch in the lower back, in the rib cage. And we're going to do it one more time. Breathe in. Exhale, push up. And get to your mat. Now hold that there. I know it's hard work. We've launched straight into a hard work, really stretching the body out. We're going to exhale after a breath in. And we're going to lean over to our left. Breathe in. Keep the arms long. And from the waist, don't lean forwards. Lean in over and feel that stretch in the waist. Take it to about a 10 out of 10. Then pause and hold. Now reach upwards. I bet you get a bit more stretch. 
That's right down the side of the body. Now bring it back upright. And over the other side. We're going to lower those arms down in a second. Over we go. Feel that stretch right down the rib. It's a fantastic stretch, that one, guys. Opens the ribs up. Bring it back nice and straight. Inhale. Exhale. And arc those hands down. And look, they need that one, don't they? Hold the thumb. Rotate those shoulders back two or three times. One, two, and three. And back the other way. Two and three. One more of those. We're going to lean it way over, okay? So take the hands up and out. Turn them up. Breathe in. Hold the hands there at the top. On the exhalations, we push for the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale. And pushing upwards. Get to your maximum. Then that's the thoracic breathing. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Reach up. Good. That's what thoracic breathing. And lean over to your left. And you probably go a little bit further this time. Take it to the 15 out of 10 with that stretch down the side. But when you get to 15, push the arms a bit. I bet you get a bit longer. A bit longer. And look how light you feel on your feet. All the energy is down that right, the left side of the body. Because lean over. Bring it back upright. And we're going over. The other side, way over, and pushing it out. Good stuff. And bring it back upright. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the arms down, elbows high. Three second push in, go. I've got a glow in my shoulders already. Reverse the hands around, guys. Three seconds isometrics, pull apart, go. There. Good, arc those hands down. One more time, hold the thumb. Rotate the shoulders backwards three times, maximum. Then foot. you might do one nice slow one, guys. That's fine. Good, liking that one. Let's keep it this part of the body then. Let's not move on until we've done our head and neck. Imagine you're stringing the ears. Breathe in. Exhale and lean over. So we've gone straight to a breathing method today. And as we exhale, head going over. I'm going to breathe in again. Exhale, and the head goes over. Shoulders really feeling that last one. Nice sequence to get into. Breathe in again. Exhale, and over we go. So remember, a lot of people starting all different sports, runs today and the football kicking off a different sport and things that everybody does in the group. Bring it back upright and over the other way. Breathing in. Exhale and over we go. And it's great doing nice slow ones on a worm catches. It's nice doing a, a slow relaxed and not working the muscles on a Saturday stretch, the one and only. But every so often we have to be able to know how to really work a stretch. Breathe in. Exhale. So we're increasing the knowledge that we have, which is vast. If you had to sit and write a book about everything you know about your fitness, guys, you know lots. Different ways of activating muscles different ways of stretching and different techniques. Bring that head back upwards facing me. Let's pick a point on the ceiling, lean the head backwards, push the jaw forwards, let the voice go funny. Take the hands to the back, stand easy position. Inhale, exhale and slide the hands down the back, moving the shoulders away from the earlobes. Keep the chin up, keep the jaw forwards, feel the stretch coming into the top of the chest. Two. One, relax, bring the hands to the side of the body. Good posture, soft knees, 30%. On the exhalation, moving the shoulders downwards by pushing the hands down the side of the body. Breathe in. Exhale, slide them down. Good. You'll very quickly go to your maximum. But just keep that thought there of the fingertips going down the side of the body. Then engage nice, slow. That's a thoracic breathing. And you'll feel like you're getting pressure put on your diaphragm because diaphragm wants to lift upwards and we're actually making it move down slightly. Breathe in. Exhale. I'm sliding the fingers down a little. I get a little bit more movement. And that's just gently opening up the very top of the shoulders where they go into that very top vertebrae. Good. Relax that down, guys. Okay, inhale. Hands to the front, exhale, chin down to the chest, switch off the rest of the body. Once the chin's on the chest, big deep breath in, exhale. 
Now keeping the chin on the chest, turn the head or rotate the head to the left till the chin is almost or parallel to the shoulder. Rotate back down towards the floor. Bring the head up. And now remember you stretch it. It's not just, we are improving that elasticity. We all know we've increased the range of movement, guys. People are touching their toes and they've never done it in their life. That's just one example. Head back down towards the floor. We are also strengthening, not just the muscles, but also the attachments. Bring the head back upwards. It's a breath in, hands up and out. Look at how are you feeling now? Turn those hands up, breathe in. That feels fantastic, doesn't it? It's totally different to before. Exhale down, let's enjoy it. Thumbs touching the sternum. Elbows low. Two and a one. Squish those hands out to here. Keep the feet nice and flat on the floor and gently just rotate left and right. Open out. Now I did a set of flies yesterday with dumbbells and as I do this one, my pecs are really, really feeling it, okay? But open it out, round we go left and right. So all the stretches for the next half an hour is gonna be pecs. Round we go left and right. Now let that foot, the feet, or that foot, that feet, the feet go in step to out, step out, step to in step. Lean over if you like, and you increase that range of movement. And just keep that speed going. Rotating around. Now take it and push it. Let's see how far around we can go but keeping it under control all the way. One that side, one this side, and we come for a pause, and we're gonna arc those hands nicely down, we're gonna hold the thumb again, de-stress, rotate the shoulders back. Why do we do so many of these? We keep the blood flowing to and from the brain, guys. There we go, around we go. Or in my case, the brain cell. Keeping the feet where they are, hands to the side, good posture, lean over left or right, any side you want to, over we go. Eight out of 10 in the waist. I know we've been working to 15 so far, but we're doing spinal mobilization. So eight out of 10, that's all we're gonna do. Bring it back up, right lean over the other way. Oh, I can feel clunking going on down to the spine. That's because the top of the spine's fully released and it's the lower part is joining in. Bring it back up, right, pause and hold. Okay, hands to the hips, keeping the feet where they are again. Let's do a few rotations all the way. I wanna feel a big neck of femur, the big ball socket joint, where it goes into, from the top of the thigh, into the pelvis, guys. Take it back around again. We want to feel that getting rotate round. Keep it nice and healthy. Joints, got them nice and healthy. Round we go, nice little pause. We're going to bring those feet out. Put my hands to a mark, and I'm taking them halfway down my forearms. Okay, not in train tracks. My feet are just out to the side, hands to the side, Little teapot handles as well as we lean over any side you want to. Short arm up the body, tuck it under into the armpit, guys. Once we get to there, breath in. <sighs> Exhale, and down we go and sliding down. And we know that the nervous system is loving that. Down we go. And with a nice loose shoulders, we start at the top. We're going to get a little bit deeper. Breathe in. <sighs> Exhale, I'm going over a little bit more. If one of your knees decide they decide to want to bend slightly, let that happen. Don't try and lock them out. Inhale one more time. Exhale. And we've got a couple of millimetres. Oh, that's 15 out of 10 in my waistline there. Going to inhale and come back to a reset. Exhale. Up we come nice and slowly. Don't zip it up as fast as you can. Pause and hold there for a second. Hands to the hips. Let's rotate it round. We're releasing the tension we've built up on the side we've just stretched. That's gone way into that hip bone, right? So we felt it in there. Sometimes when we treat people, it's great when people are relaxed. We get our fingers, we can get right inside the body and down on the inside of the hips there. It feels nice and slippery and shiny. Good stuff. Relax that down there, guys. Some of you have had those treatments. I can see the tears in your eyes right now. Hands to here. Good stuff. Other side, breathe in, exhale, over we go, armpit there and down, good stuff, inhale, exhale, over we go. So the past couple, we've done a lot of relaxing ones recently and mindfulness ones, we're now this morning coming back to really what we're doing it, 
getting a mixture, but working the body. Inhale, exhale, and over we go. It's good doing relaxing stuff, but if you do it all the time, you're not going to get any improvement. Inhale, exhale, over we go. It's like running 100 meters and taking 20 seconds to do it. And three years later, you still take 20 seconds. You couldn't get any faster unless you try. Last one, breathe in. Exhale, over we go. I've got a little bit more movement. Now this waistline's really kicked in, I can feel that. Inhale, exhale for recovery. And up we come nice and slowly. And as I come back upwards, oh, that feels good. Hands to the hips. Let's rotate that around. I know I said this last week, guys, but look how comfortable you all are with your feet in this position. Take it back round. That used to be a bit of a session, a workout in itself, holding some of the positions that we're doing. Core strength. Well done. Two, one. Nice and relaxed. Going to bring those feet nicely back in, and I'm going to shake everything out before we start moving down. Let's just do a classic hamstring one to take it down, guys. Bring the right leg forward. Pull the toe towards the shin. Now just hold it there. Just hold and pull that toe towards the shin. Inhale, exhale, pull it a bit more. Hold that good stuff, we're liking that one. Bending forwards from the hips, inhaling. Exhale, over we go. Nice and slowly, we're taking it down. I'm taking this straight to 15 this morning. Oh, that's good. That's 15, I'm gonna hold it there. Now I breathe in. Exhale, and I'm going over a bit more. I think we'll bring the belt back in next week. Get some good performance, lower back stuff going. One more time, breathing in. Exhale, I'm going over again, and that is 15. It's probably a bit more, so I'm going to hold it. I don't want it to get any worse. So I'm holding it there. I want it to relax. Breathing again. Exhale, without moving it. And as if by magic, it releases two, one, and slowly coming back up again. And from there, let's shake the legs out. Nice bit of recover, because you're stretching at one side, the other side's got a bit of stress going on, working really hard, but we've got good joints. We work on the mobilization and strengthening. Bring the other, other foot forwards, guys, onto the heel. Now, if somebody, if somebody I don't know, some of you have always done a hamstring stretch like this. If you prefer that one, I, I don't mind, okay? But heel, toe there. This one tends to get a nice straight on the back of the leg. Pull the toe towards the shin. Inhale. Exhale, pull the toe a bit more. This also, this stance and pause and holding, gets your good posture working, gets the core working, gets you nice and strong, and gets us into our favorite position where somebody sneaks up behind us, kicks our backside, and they hurt the foot. We didn't even know they were there. Inhale. Exhale, bending forward from the hip. And slowly taking it down. Feel that stretch increase. Keep the toe pulled towards the shin. That's right in the back of the leg, guys. It's really focused. That's me at 15. I'm going to inhale. Exhale. I'm taking it down again. It's easing off. I've kept it now. I'm going to get any more. So I'm going to hold it there. It's not releasing. So I'm going to breathe in. Exhale. Just hold that position. There you go, 14, 13, so I'll increase again, just bending forwards, two and one, and slowly coming back upwards and give it a shake. And you may feel a bit of tiredness going on in your thighs here, give it a shake. You will recover. If you're showing somebody new these XD stretches, they might get wobbly legs from here, okay? But you're gonna recover because you're fit. Okay, what I start doing this week is bring the feet, just a bit wider than hip width. Bend the knees slightly, and we want to give the thighs a shake, all right? So excuse me lifting my shorts up. There we go, to here. That's what we want, that there. Looks weird, doesn't it, okay? Tight, uh, around the beach time, all right? <laughs> Getting the legs suntan. Just wiggle it about. Feel the hamstrings going in the back of the legs, all right? That's what feeling you want to get. Keep that going, keep that going, keep that going. Three, two, and a one, good stuff. And give it a shake out. Our mm -hmm. muscle tissues in the legs, the grain, if you like, like in wood, they go north to south, up and down. By shaking them, you get the grain moving left and right. Mm -hmm. And it, it increases massively the blood flow in the legs. So we're liking that one, good stuff. Hands to the thighs, guys. We're gonna go down, do a bicycle chain, come back up, then we're gonna modify it. So here we go. Good posture, breathe in. 
Exhale, chin to the chest, sliding it down the front of the body. Knees, shins, top of the toes. My knees are bending, but not so much because we've just done those big stretches. So let's take the fingertips to the front of the toes. Let's push the legs to the rear. Let's think of a cat stretch. Let's breathe in. Exhale, stay there. Chin to the chest. Inhale, stay there. Exhale. Good. Okay. We're going to slowly rotate to the left till our left hand is on the right toe. Have I got that right? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going down to the right, sorry. Down to the right. Keep the hands dangling until the left middle finger touches the right toe and hold there. Keep the fingertips on the floor if you can. That right leg, if you've gone the other way, the left one, you can feel the back of the leg working hard and unwind. Bring it back again. Fingertips just kissing the carpet, nice little arc, and take it round the other side. So my right hand, arm dangling down, has just touched the big toe on the left foot. Good. And we unwind, bring it back to normal where we started the position. For a reset, inhale. Exhale, slowly coming back up and uncoiling. We're not going to spoil it now. We've got a picture of the bicycle chain as we uncoil, soft knees, imaginary string, 30%, shoulders back, carry the hands on up the body, squish them out, turn them up, and a breathe in, and exhale down, thumbs above the heart and hold there. One more straightforward bicycle chain. Hands back down to our thighs. That's a breath in. Chin to the chest. Slowly coming down, guys. Calling down. There's more than just the hamstrings on this one. It's right down the spine, right down the body. Back of the legs. We're joining together all the muscles we've stretched out so far. Middle fingers to the floor in front of the toes. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Straighten those legs up. Arc up and look at the difference we've got there. That's huge. Try to tuck myself in like I'm folded completely in half. I'm sure I'm not, but it feels that way. Big deep breath in. Exhale, slowly coming up. Getting the tingly feeling down the spine. Good. Frothing at the mouth as well in a stretching session. Let the elbows go slightly to the rear. If I turn sideways, what I mean by that is I get that position and the elbows go slightly to the rear. By doing that, I get the shoulders pulled back and I raise the head up and hold that position there. Good. Okay, take the hands up and out. We're gonna work it this week. Set the marker, guys. Bring the feet out as wide as you can and use the hands as a marker. I'm just gonna close this down, it keeps it. Fantastic. Oh, good. See that? I covered Cynthia. A little thing. I, I couldn't see Cynthia and Sally. I'm wide there, guys. Now, I noticed three people yawning there. <laughs> what that is, it's not a case of, oh, I'm going to... The body is releasing all of the waste products from the lungs. When you want to yawn, it's like taking a big deep breath in and blowing out the old stuff. That's what that is. Keep your hands there. I'm watching you. Thank you. Yes, you in the blue jumper. You know who you are. <laughs> okay. Good stuff, guys. That foot faces that way. Push it down to here. There. Soles of feet on the floor. Now bring the hands in. Relax it. Chest facing one another. Nice adductor stretch. Straight line. Roll the chest over we go. Inhale. Exhale. Reach forwards. Long leg to the instep and push that hip down at the same time. And then hold at your maximum. Look how... That's not just a big stretch, guys. That's a powerful photographic pose, that is. Looking amazing. Breathe in. Exhale, reach forwards and push down again. Pictures like this, when they're produced, it makes you look like you know what you're doing. We know we look, we know what we're doing, but it merely enforces it. It looks good. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, push forward and push those hips down. Get a bit more movement. And for a recovery, breathe in. Exhale, point your finger, and a nice arc as we come up 
and over and down. That looked really, really good. Going to squish those feet in. Guys, it's worth getting the link just to watch what it looks like with 16 people in unison doing that. What a class. Looking good. You must have a good instructor. <laughs> okay. I've got a good class. Let's bring the feet out. Let's get it nice and wide. There. Same this side. Here we go. Point the foot that way. Take it down. That keeps us nice and level. Good. Then relax into it. Arms normal position. Chest facing one another. Straight arm. Roll the chest over. Inhale. Exhale. Reaching forwards and pushing that hip down. Getting for the same effect to the side. And the adductors were really giving them a good go in this morning, guys. Breathe in. Exhale, reach forwards, push the hips downwards. That's good focus. Powerful. Last time, breathe in. Exhale, reaching forwards and down. Good stuff. I'm way over on the instep. My hips are still sinking down. I'm still pushing forwards. Exhale for recovery. Inhale. Exhale and coming up. Arcing all the way, nice and high again. That's great, that is. Bring those feet in nicely under control. And look how when you squish those feet in, first time we started doing that, it was like, he wants me to do what? And the feet, now they're gonna, now they all glide back in, don't they? Let's give them a nice little shake out. Coming back to the midpoint, let's do some releasing. One of my favorite ways at the moment for doing that is one we've done a lot recently. Taking one step forwards, open the feet out, hands to the hips, and rotate those hips around, guys. And think of the hip area. Just think of that ball socket joint going around. There, inside, inside the cup that it sits in, rotating around, guys. Take that around and take it back the other way. Remember, we think a part of the body. You don't have to know the name of it. Just think a part of the body that you want to work, and it will happen. Round we go, two and one. I'm going to swap those feet over. So it's not a balanced exercise. I move my feet out very slightly, pointing nicely forwards, and round I go, and I can feel that. And we've released everywhere. Take it back around the other way. Now, if you're one of those people that don't like lying down, stretches, don't like the sitting down or whatever, what we've done with our routine is more than most people will do in a full body stretching session. Two, one, and relax it down, and give it a nice little shake out, guys. Excellent. I think we deserve a little lay down, don't you? Let's go to all fours first. Hands onto the hips or the thighs. Bicycle chain down to tabletop. Breathing in. Exhale. Sliding down. Good stuff. All the way. And over. And there. Good. And we've got Ali with us this morning. Ali does a lot to do with dogs, and she's inside her shed, she calls it. I thought somebody's inside Wembley Stadium doing their stretches for a second. <laughs> okay. So Ali's with us this morning, all looking good. The class, the class is getting bigger, guys. We're looking good. So focus now. Hips and shoulders stacked. Shoulders above the hands, hips above the knees. Top of the feet nice and relaxed. Let's go for a classic. Let's get the cat stretched. Don't breathe in. Exhale. Push the back upwards. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? But look how loose it feels because of all the work we've done so far. Inhale, exhale, increase, increase. Hips come forward, take the chin to the chest. Good. For recovery, inhale, exhale. And we're just coming back down to recovery position, guys. And I'm putting this, this isn't on my list. You know what? Let's just go for it. We're going to do the child's pose, but we want to get to a stage where you could fall asleep and stay in that position. Four hands to the floor, four arms, four hands, four arms to the floor, fingertips to elbows, forehead to the floor, hips going back to the haunches and our heels and relax. Big deep breath in. Exhale and let them sink backwards. Now, my nose is getting compressed on the floor, so I've got to turn my head to the side. So nice and low. Inhale. 
Exhale. Now switch off the body. You'll feel the arms and the fingers bend slightly. Switch off the body. And you more or less could have a nice little snooze in this position. You're nice and stable, totally relaxed. Inhale. Exhale again. And you'll probably feel the origins of the hamstring stretching a bit. My mid back just cracked out a little bit again. One more time, breathing in. Exhale. And still feel the body relaxing. Two. And a one. And from there, guys, not coming down to a dragon today. We're going to roll over onto our back. I'm just going to come up and adjust my camera while you're getting in that position. Check the clock. We're spot on time. Looking good. We're going to keep this working theme going. Yep, on the screen, in the middle. Good. Why don't you take your hands and cup them behind the head as if you're lying down sunbathing, guys, and keep the arms there this morning. Knees are high, fist width between the knees, feet flat on the floor. Big deep breath in and just relax on the exhale. Exhale. We could go to our favorite place right now, couldn't we? Just lying here, hands behind the head. Okay, on the next exhalation, I want you to take those elbows nice and gently down towards the floor. If they're already touching, you're a lucky person. Inhale. Exhale. And just think of relaxing those arms down, taking the elbows down towards the floor. Most of us are not going to reach at all. We just got to think it. Your scapulas are going to come together. So you can think about squeezing A4 paper sideways onto the scapulas. Gonna hold it there. One more breath in. Exhale, and we take them back. And all we're doing is with the hands here, we are fully inflating and stretching the chest to the front on the inhalation and taking it out and increasing it with the elbows coming down to the floor. Relax from that in two and a one, but keep the hands there and feel how much lower your arms are. Now that should be nice and comfortable. Like any position we do, if it becomes uncomfortable, take your hands back down to your side. But with the hands there, we're gonna do a hip bridge. Breathe in, exhale, and raise those hips upwards. The head will slide upwards, we know that. Raise the hips up and hold. Now you may feel your elbows down on the floor. Just hold that position there. So we're going to stabilize and bring in a little bit of isometrics. On the exhalation, push the arms into the floor in this position. Breathe in. Exhale and push them backwards. There. Feel those shoulders energizing and working up, looking good. Raise the hips at the same time. Push upwards. Feel the glutes engage. Inhale. Exhale and lower the spinal column down to the floor. One segment at a time, take the hands from behind the head and we're gonna place them down on our sides, palms on the floor. Good, back to a hip bridge guys, raise the hips upwards and we're gonna do a hip circle, one, one direction, then the other direction, don't let the butt touch the floor. So raise the hips upwards, now a circle to the right, move the hips to the right, all the way out, Bring the butt down towards the floor, just off the floor, up to the other side, raise it up, and I'm at start position and I hold, and I've got the hips higher than before, increasing our wrong. And reverse, take it back around the other way, all the way around, hips coming down to the floor, up to the side, nice and high, Good, inhale, exhale, push the hips again, raise them up. Wanna get that stretch in the hip flexors, the thighs, the glutes are gonna engage for recovery. Inhale, exhale, let the segments of the spine come down to the floor. Good stuff, guys. From here, I think it's sitting up time, facing one another. Off we go, up we come, check the clock. Good. I'm not unmuted just yet. Let's give it a minute or so. 
that position there. We haven't done this old school one for a long time, guys. We did it a lot when we first started because I wanted to get people to achieve that thing of touching their toes because it's quite a big thing. Something heavy thinks about, isn't it? Feet nice and flat, backs of the legs nice and flat. On the first movement, the knee can raise up if we need to, but be graceful. Sit good, nice and tall, imaginary string, chest and top of the head, arms up and out. Turn up, breathe in. Exhale. Push it forwards, guys. It's a sit and reach. Pull the toes towards the shins. Inhale. Exhale and slowly and surely lean forwards. Get to your maximum. I've just touched my toes. I've got a slight bend in the knee. I'm going to hold it there. Without moving forwards, I want those legs to get nice and flat on the floor. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Ease the legs down. Good. Inhale again. Exhale, and I'm sliding forwards again, increasing that stretch. And I'm going to pause and hold there. You should be amazed at how far you've got, guys. All the work we've done so far down the spine. Take the chin down the chest for this one. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Slide it forwards. I've got my toes into the palms of my hands. Fingers down the feet, and I'm pulling the soles of the foot upwards now and increasing that stretch. Oh, that's 15. That feels really good. Hold in that position, breathe in. Exhale. And just by holding, now feel what's going on with the body. You might feel the stretch working its way up the spinal column, millimeter by millimeter. We're going to breathe in now. Exhale and ease that back upwards. Think sitting tall. Bring your hands up, squish them out, turn them up, big deep breath in. While they're doing that, I'm going to press the button. Bring the hands back down to the heart position. Hold that one there, guys. You can relax down from there. Bring the hands back down, guys. Good stuff. Feet flat on the floor. The palms are out. All I want to do now is wish you all a happy and safe, brilliant Easter for you and all your family, and have a great day. I really enjoyed that. Big clap, one, two, three, go, yes! Excellent. Have a good day, guys. Top notch stretching. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 And to you all. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Blue sky, blue sky. I know, it's wonderful. <laughs> Bye, Alice.